Good afternoon, YouTube Pipe Community. Sean the Ghost Cobb coming to you from the side porch. A beautiful day here uh, in Pennsylvania. A little chilly this morning, but um, warmed up really nice. I mean, it's still, you know, jeans and t-shirt, possibly a long sleeve shirt. I'm sure it depends on how you feel, I guess. Uh, but, uh, talk today about role models and um, who are my role models and why they are my role models. First let's get some uh, housekeeping out of the way here. Missouri Mersham Bent Stem Legend Fifth Avenue uh, Bowl owner and uh, In it is some Boswell's Maple Leaf. Um, very good tobacco. One of my uh, favorite blends that they uh, make there in Boswell's in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. If you haven't had Boswell's tobacco yet, um, I know Pottsville Piper smokes a lot of it too. Go online and check them out. Reasonably priced and very good tobacco. Cup of mud this morning, this afternoon rather. I love my coffee. Love my mud. So, role models. You know, growing up, and probably till the last, I don't know. 10, 15 years of my life, I realized that, um, you know, it's okay to kind of look up to these professional athletes, but I, I don't think they should be your role models. I don't think they should be our kids' role models. Um, I think they've got a serious case of entitlement they have. Uh, I believe a role model, their name should be on the front of their uniform, not the back. So that's where I stand with that. There are some great athletes out there that do the right things. And I don't want you to think that that's not the case. Pipe T. Tamper. But, they're not a role models. To me, a role model should be somebody who you'd want to be. And I'm sorry, but somebody getting paid millions of dollars and they do silly stuff like go out and strip clubs and get into fights and shoot themselves in the leg and um, domestic violence left and right, uh, drunk driving, you know, the domestic violence, if I haven't already said that, I'm not sure if I did or not. Um, and now, the national anthem thing. Now, I know it's their right. And believe me, I'm one of the first people to stand up and say, listen, there is a problem with the police department and these people with authority taking advantage of it. But, you know, folks, I think we have bad people in every, in every job. We have dirty politicians. We have uh, people of the church that do things to children that shouldn't do them. Um, but we have great pastors out there, preachers and reverends and padres. We have um, some great, you know, politicians out there. Ronald Reagan was great, in my opinion. Um, you know, and there are some great athletes out there. Roberto Clemente was amazing. I mean, Roberto Clemente died in a plane crash taking supplies over to his, his country because they were less fortunate. 
I mean, you know, there are great athletes out there, and I'm not saying that there's not, you know, but... I don't think they should be a role model. A role model is somebody who you want to be. And I know kids, you know, want to be an athlete with millions of dollars. I get it. I get it. But a role model should also be somebody who has higher standards and respect for themselves and want to keep, not forget where they come from and keep wanting to return things to the communities in which they come from. Surgeons should be a role model. Um, nurses should be a role model. Uh, farmers should be a role model. Coal miners should be a role model. Anybody who does anything for that, in that fact for a living that goes on mission trips or toys for tots, St. Jude's, they're role models. Those kids that are in the hospital right now in St. Jude's, they're role models. They're inspiration. Um, you know, I, I really think that we, we lose we lose track of that stuff. Um, I grew up very large military family. So anybody that wears a uniform gets a ton of respect from me. Now there are people in uniform that do wrong as well, even in the military. I'm not saying there's not. But, you know, they're out there Bills they can't pay. Sure, they have them. Away from their families and loved ones for long periods of time. Some wives give birth and the child's one, two, sometimes three years old before the father or mother gets to see them because of being shipped off, you know, with military service. Um, that's our role models, you know. And, and when we thank them, when I thank them, I make sure I explain to them why I thank them. That, you know, without them, wouldn't have the luxury of texting my daughter, good night, I love you, when she's at her mother's house. Or when she's here to give her a hug and a kiss and, and put her, you know, send her off to bed. She goes to bed and, you know, does her thing. She's 14 now, so. But um, just to be able to crack that door open and peek in just to make sure she's okay. Those are luxuries that we have because of what they provide. And for that, I think they should be a role model. Uh, my Uncle Dave is one of my largest role models. You know that man works on, a, keeps a farm going, works, cuts wood to make sure they have wood every winter, um, has two artificial knees, does it very slowly, and he falls behind a lot because he can't do it all in one shot, obviously. But um, he does the best he can. And uh, he's a godly man. His three, believe, his three strongest things are God, family, then work. Not a bad uh, role model in my eyes. And uh, the man taught me how to fish. He even taught me how to drive. Driving a tractor. When I was just a young, a young lad. So, um, you know, and I see him and it's pretty cool. I, I really enjoy seeing him and 
spending time with him. Uh, he is um, truly somebody I can look up to and want my daughter to be around and to rub off on my daughter. Those are my ideal of a role model. Um, you know, I don't know what you guys are thinking or feeling, but um, if you guys want to send me a comment or a VR or whatever, go ahead, shoot her out, man. I'm all about it. I'd love to know your thoughts and theories on this conversation today that we're having. You know, I try to be a role model for my daughter. Uh, 18 years as a volunteer fireman. Heck, one day we were at the firehouse and we had a call and she had to ride along. We put her in the utility truck and she followed us uh, with another bu uh, buddy of mine driving when she was very young. And she sat in the front seat and leaned up over the steering, over the uh, dashboard there and watched a friend of mine and I give an older gentleman CPR and brought him back. Um, you know, those are the kind of examples that I'm proud to say I set for my daughter. And, um, you know, I, uh, I'm just so uh, thankful for the opportunity that I've had to do that, to set the examples for Haley. And, uh, you know, I try to surround her with friends of mine that are utmost respect. One of my good friends is an Eagle Scout. Um, you know, most of my friends are, were in a club that's called 521. He started it when he was in college, and it wasn't a sorority. It was a group of guys that basically did nothing but community service. And he's carried that on past college, and now we're all part of it. Um, those are the kind of things that I'm proud to be a part of, and, and I want my daughter to be around as, as a role model and to set examples for her. So, um, you know, I'm just very, very thankful for all that. And um, until we can get together, guys, and, you know, pack another bowl, let all that you do be done out of love. And um, be a role model. Even if you don't want to be, your kids are looking up to you. The neighbor kids are looking up to you when you're out playing with your kids. So um, just kind of keep that in the back of your thoughts. You guys take care. God bless.